between their hands where they want to. between Randy Orton and John Cena. And as Cena said backstage, this is a day of reckoning. Cena needs to tread lightly, though, because the Viper will have no trouble redirecting those same words back at John. And Randy isn't just looking to beat Cena. He wants to torture John Cena. Orton's never been one to show any remorse for his disgraceful behavior, and I would expect the same tonight. He's able to fend off the attack. Close line. Probably not going to win for a couple hundred years, Byron. You know why? Because the Billy Goat's curse is in effect. Oh, I can't stand this move. Hi, Colt. Submission locked in tight, nowhere to go, no escape. This agonizing hole, gotta find a way out, and they do. Punch connects. Good defense. Caught in a bad position here. He goes for the cover. And he doesn't stay down for long. He just powered out there, Cole. Oh. 
Cena's abilities are well known at this point. What do you think he should tap into in order to secure the victory? Well, for a man with his build, John has a deceptive amount of stamina in the ring. He should try to extend the match as much as he can and take his opponents into the deep water. Likelihood is, they won't be able to keep up. John Cena not looking so at home after taking that hit. From way up. Whoa, whoa, landing. Trying to do as much damage as humanly possible. But at what cost? Dropping the elbow. Two. Oh, this manhandling their opponent. Fall away slam. It wasn't the higher distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. Orton playing mind games with the enemy. Close line. Real European uppercut. He turns it around. Taking aim to the back of the neck. Wicked clothesline. He is doing whatever possible to torture the knee. And an elbow. Oh. Shoulders down. The pin doesn't even last to a count of one. Not even close to down and out at this point. Close line. Good lord. So effective. He's getting pushed down into the defensive. This is what Cena does: finding energy and getting it done. He gets back into the ring. Calculation turns the tide right back around. Off into the pin. He's able to kick out before two. He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. Oh, impressive counter. What a shot. Charring European uppercut. shows that this is still anybody's match at this point. The Viper about to give Cena a dose of venom. Okay. That just happened. Randy Orton, there it is. It. Oh my God. What? What just? I can't. Uh, agreed, Saxton. Looks like there's no limit to how much damage this superstar can absorb. Orton has ended so many matches with that, but it did not do the trick just then. Delivering nasty stumps. Tremendous pressure being applied in this head crank. Just cranking the head. Cena has no control here. And Cena has no answer for this offense from the Viper. The stop in every single part of his body. Delivering nasty stops. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by count out. The Viper. Exploder suplex from Orton. Merciless attacks from the Viper. Orton loves to have this kind of control. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Quick return to the ring. Mind games in full effect from the Apex Predator.
John Cena and Randy Orton have been intrinsically tied for their entire careers. They debuted around the same time. They both were amongst the most prolific champions in their both surefire WWE Hall of Famers. Both guys may have double-digit WWE Championship reigns, but one man has done it the right way. John Cena has embraced hustle, loyalty, and respect, while the Viper has slithered and backstabbed his way to many main events. That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. Oh. Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. Pulls their opponent in. Belly to belly. He heads outside. Count out's legal in this match. Looking to end this thing. Can they step through? Yes. Boston Crab cinched in. Well, this won't win the match, but it's one way. Trying to free himself. Trips the ankle, and he's out. And kicks off his opponent. Two. Close line. What impact. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Six. Caught with the Larian. Orton measuring him. A knee smack. Is it enough here? Oh my, how in the world did he kick out of that? A little closer to getting the pinfall there, but this is still anybody's fight. Pulled in for belly to belly. Cover. Gets the shoulder up and one. A truly impressive kick out this late. Vicious right forearm. John Cena knows exactly what he's walked into. Cena's walking on dangerous ground claimed by the Viper. There's a reason Orton's WWE's apex predator. He has an in-ring IQ that's off the charts and becomes stronger the longer the hunt goes on. Expect Orton to exploit any of Cena's weaknesses with extreme cruelty. What throw? No other way to say it, guys. That looked like it hurt a lot. Into the corner. This can't be good. A big punch. Shifts it back onto him. Big close line. Ooh. Can he do it here? No, he lets him out. Oh, man. Randy didn't exactly look viper like on that one. Cena not showing any signs of backing down here. Unloading with that power offense of his. Now John asserting control. Cena's throwing blows, and Orton can't slither out of the way. Close line. Good so, Lord. So effective. What you doing here, Corey? The colossal clock. Slip right underneath, and just like that, he's out of the hold. To the outside. This could get wild. Belly to belly. Cena with the reversal. Close line. Oh, what a Boom, what a punch. Ooh, close line delivered. Scary pattern starting to form as that upper area takes more damage. Boom. Here soon. The close of this match is just ahead. And this is, uh, well, it's not looking good. Randy Orton is slipping, but he still might have an RKO in his back pocket. Count might have been a bit fast, but hey, it's his decision.
for some 